Barnsley, little show and go. Up high, and Hammers with the left hand. Holmesley going to work, driving, laying it up for two. Caleb Holmesley from NBA range. Got it to go. Caleb's becoming the go-to guy. welcomes in one of the Ivy League's best in the Princeton Tigers. Man, December 10th against Princeton, I know the date. I just remember I, uh, I went up to score and I missed and I got my own rebound and I kind of dribbled it back out a little bit and I turned to see and there was no one at the rim. So I just went to the rim and finished it. He finishes with the left hand, but he's down and grabbing at his knee and in pain. I just remember I came down and I felt the same feeling I felt back when I tore my other one. When he went down, I heard it. I, I heard it in his reaction. He went down, literally right in front of me. And this place has fallen silent. As soon as I heard him, I heard his voice. I knew. And I thought, oh, gosh. He's this kid. I, I felt for him. It's the last thing you want to see. And certainly keep him in your prayers as he heads back to the locker room. We knew early that it wasn't just an ACL. It was more than. So um, we started that conversation with uh, the coaching staff that um, it's going to be a little longer of a process. He had come so far. He's been through the rehabilitation process once. Had my doubts. Uh, if that dude would even try it again. That night I was tore up, you know, just emotionally because I, I put so much into these guys and, and uh, we build relationships, you know, in our program that are solid. I told Caleb, I'm gonna let you cry for, you know, 30 minutes or whatever we need and then we're gonna move on. He sat there for a minute and we actually cried and he, uh, he sat there with me and it really was a big moment for me and it realized that I'm at the right place and that I have the right people around me to get back. It helped Caleb that he had been to an ACL surgery before, because some of the things I asked him to do were painful. This this does not feel good. <laughs> I won't lie to you. Right there, let's crank that spot. Yep, don't lift, press down. There it is. There is a certain hurdle that you have to cross, but I think I crossed it pretty early uh, within the rehab. I, I think I crossed it before the surgery because I knew how I came back off of my other one and I, how much of a high level I was playing after that. I knew it would take some time, but I knew it would all come back. A little better than the one that we were doing. Can you tell the difference at all or no? Okay. How we handle difficulty and adversity, you know, a good God gives that to us so that he can refine our character. And, and, and the question is, do you embrace it or do you run from it? Um, and I think that's one thing that Caleb did is he, in this whole process, he never ran from it. He never operated in fear. Um, he embraced it. And then the transition happened. And I'm telling you, what you the product you see now is, Henry Barrera is a beast. That's all I gotta say. My job doesn't really start until, like physically, until he's, he's cleared, totally cleared. So, you know, seven, eight months, and we really start to put in work. The biggest thing for me is I wanna make sure he can absorb force, you know, so he can land in, in as many different positions as possible, because, you know, that type of injury is gonna happen on a, on a landing. Uh, so we want to make sure that he's robust enough where he can handle contact at the rim and land in, the, in a solid position. So we literally set a whole year plan. You know, we worked backward with the doctor and with Shriner and myself and with Coach and said, these are our checkpoints, these are our milestones, and this is where we need to be at, you know, at, at this day. If anybody knows anything about a progression and about the process, it's Caleb Holmes. Like, like he's been through it twice, and um, he, knows, he knows how hard it is. And I think people forget when they don't see what happens behind the scenes day to day, how tough it is to come back. Man, it's, it's, it's difficult. Tonight, the Liberty Flames kick off the 2017-18 season. Caleb Holmesley <laughs> stepping on the floor in a game for the first time since December 10th. It would have been funny if you would have had a camera on Henry and myself, because uh, it's kind of one of those things where I'm like, you know, like, I know he's ready. He'll take his time now, drives it, goes off the window for two, and there it is. Caleb Holmesley through traffic. Welcome back. It is so good to see him out there. For me, when I got out there, it was really special. After my first one, I definitely didn't take basketball for granted, but after the second one, it can just be taken from you in a, in a heartbeat or after one play. And I think now that every day, I just 
focus on one thing that I need to get done, knowing that basketball might not be here forever. What I'm proudest of is the way he's trusted God with his body, with his life, and he's trying to live out of that. I think he's special because he's, he's about the right stuff. And what he's proven to me is that he can be coached, he can be pushed, he, he can be challenged for his very best because he's endured hardship and he's, and he's won.